Yo, it's your boy, Straight Boss over here from Straight Smoke Gaming. And it's Saturday, we're giving you the smoke on Red Dead Online today. That's right, some extra smoke this week on Red Dead Online. As we normally do these on Mondays. But there was some new content added, and I want to do a video on it. So, here we are. We're going to be talking about these three new missions that we get from this mysterious character named J. Just the letter J. I think he'll be added in later on, I would hope. But well, we'll find out more about that maybe with the next DLC, hopefully. Okay, so you collect the letter, you open up your satchel. It took me a little minute to find it as it was buried at the bottom of my satchel, but I find it. And here we go, we got three missions. We have Outrider, a one-horse deal, and Rich Pickings, okay? And it gives you a little, uh, the details here on each mission, and we're going to be going over that, how I, to, how I went about completing it and the average uh, pay, or minimum pay anyway, of what you could expect from each one. Okay, Outrider sounds just like a stranger mission that we do in Free Roam. Protect a wagon while it goes from point A to point B. Simple enough. Then a one-horse deal. Again, very stranger mission-like as you would be stealing a white Arabian horse as you get a lot of horse stuff missions from the boy in Free Roam. And that Rich Pickings is the one that sticks out as something a little bit different as it's telling us that we have to go into a mansion and loot the jewelry in the mansion and then make it back out and deliver it to the drop-off point. Very heist-like-ish if you play uh, GTA. So I do kind of... Th that one was fun. That one was fun. Actually, all, all these are fun, honestly, in my opinion. And Outrider was like I thought it was. It is just... You could be, uh, you could ride next to the driver, or you could be on your horse. Um, keep in mind that the wagon does not slow down. This wagon hauls ass. And uh, when I was doing this on hard, I tried to slow down in front of the wagon, um, and the wagon just bulldozed me and my horse. So, yeah, um, I think it's easier to just be in the wagon, honestly. So I do recommend that, but you can do as you please. And. So there's three variations of each mission. There's standard, hard, and ruthless, and they get tougher as it goes up. And here I completed uh, the standard of Outrider, and I was going to go... I knew there was a cooldown. I was aware of that, but I was going to go start a one-horse deal standard, but I couldn't do that. So the cooldown is across all of them. You cannot switch, but that's fine. If you have a roll, go ahead, do some, do some hunting, do some collecting, do a bounty mission or two and then you can go back right back into these okay so i did uh the standard hard and ruthless version of outrider and i got 0.16 gold on all three of them and i got anywhere from 14 and a half dollars to 20 dollars and some change on all three of them the money goes up a little bit as you go to hard and ruthless keep in mind in ruthless you lose your aim assist and um, you have to free you know, the free aim as you do the ruthless one. Hard, you keep your aim assist. They just bring a ton of more enemies in. So, all right. Here, I tried to do a one-horse deal on hard with Jay Cut in my posse. And Rockstar says, no can do, bucko. You're on your own. So, that is why they stress the word solo. Because everything in this game can be done solo anyway. So, I was really wondering, I'm like, what's the big deal of solo work employment like source of employment because you can do everything solo but here they're stressing the fact that you have to do it solo you cannot bring anyone in so keep that in mind here a one horse deal you're stealing your horse there's a ton of enemies protecting it i think you can be stealthy i suck at being stealthy so when i did it on standard uh, i got caught um, i did take my time i tried to be stealthy and I got more gold for it because I drew, I dragged it out. But here on hard, I went in, I just blasted everyone. Then you have to break this white Arabian. You got to tame this horse, calm it down so you can ride it to the drop-off point. So the gold is uh, actually that's a typo up there. It's a uh, 0.32 gold on average between 0.32 and 0.24 as you're going to see here. Here I did it on hard, this clip right here, and I'm delivering it. I only get 0.24 gold, but, you know, that's because it took less time. On standard, I took more time trying to be stealthy, and I got 0.32 gold. So, keep that in mind. These are just like bounties. 
the longer you take, the more gold you're going to make. So go ahead and milk them. All right. All right, moving on to rich pickings. This one is is essentially a heist. You're, you know, you're sneaking into a mansion. You're looting it's, uh, all the chests. There's first floor. There's a second floor. Ton of rooms in here. It took a while to get through here. You can see it's dark outside when I started this. And um, by the time I leave, it's the, you know, it's like afternoon. So I spent a lot of time in here. You're going to see on the gold payout that, yeah, I, I did this one for a while. <laughs> I really milked it good. Um, but make sure you check all the desks, desk drawers, cabinets, cupboards, everything. It's, it's not just all in these chests. They're, you know, they're everywhere. This jewelry is everywhere. And you do not get to keep the jewelry either. I went to a fence after this, seeing if I could hawk this jewelry for even more money. But no, you do not get to keep the jewelry, you know. And when you drop off the jewelry, they really do take it, so. But here, yeah, I spent a good time here dragging this out, getting as much as I can. And I I only did this one on standard. I didn't do hard or ruthless yet, just because I want to save something to do later on. But I needed to get a, a feel for what it was. And here I made $38 and .44 gold. So, yeah, you're able to make some good gold with these missions, just make sure you drag them out. Outrider, uh, Outrider was the only one that um, paid the same all the way across, which I thought was kind of crappy based on how Ruthless is. As here's a clip of Ruthless with no aim assist. Make sure you pop your tonics, health tonics, dead eye tonics, all that stuff, because you do less damage to these enemies. And I know that because I shot one right in the head at some point. I don't know if I got a clip of that, but I did shoot one right flush in the face, and he kept pelting me with bullets, and I was like, okay, how did you not die? Yes, you do less damage to them, and they do more damage to you, so make sure you tonic up when you do these missions, okay? But all right, guys, that's about it for the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. hope you have an understanding of what you're going to be getting into, into and what you can expect when you get done with, this, with these missions as... You can make some really good gold. The money is eh, so-so, but you're getting paid in gold, and that's always good. So, um, you new players, go ahead, and this is a good source of making gold. And this is great and refreshing content. It's great that they added it in this DLC. Everyone thought we'd have to wait till the next DLC before Jay came into the game and gave us missions. But, no, we got it now, and I'm happy we got new content. Alright guys, consider subscribing for more Red Dead Online content. I'll see you Monday.